What is going on? Thank you guys for watching Ruckus TV. I am at the lake. It looks kind of crazy right now because they dropped the lake down. I think it's dropped right now probably like four or five, maybe six feet uh, because they're trying to fix the dam. So the lake looks crazy. Right now I would normally be underwater if this lake was full. As you can see, it looks pretty wicked out here. But we're gonna try and catch some fish because I'm craving fish for dinner. So, as some of you might know, most of you probably don't, but some of you might know, COVID has hit me and my family pretty hard. Uh, it was pretty rough there for a while. Uh, my wife was feeling pretty rough. My kids were, and so was I. But Oh, good. I'm, I'm already getting a bite. Oh, I almost had him. It's hard to film because I'm fishing one-handed. But other than that, we're going to try and catch some fish. We are out of quarantine as of today. Thank God, because I was going stir crazy. Ah, oh, got him. Dang it. Oh, I missed him again. Okay, but I'm going to try and get this camera set up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, and I can still fish. But, so glad to be out here at the lake. All you people out there that have had COVID or are worried about COVID, I understand it's a very serious issue, but you still gotta enjoy life. You gotta get out there, you gotta have a good time because we only have one life, so you might as well live it while you got the chance. But, I'm gonna get my poles in the water. The one out there, I'm just using a bobber uh, with a pink little jig head with a worm stuck on it. My other pole, which is right here, I'm gonna use a plastic. Uh, just a little quarter ounce jig head with a, a little little piece of plastic on it. So let's get it out here in the water and let's see if we can't get it done. All right, y'all. First fish of the day. A little crappie, you know. Hey, I'm out of the house. I'm happy. Fish number one, baby. I'm gonna try to get my phone set up so you guys can watch me fish. It's really, really difficult, but I'm gonna try and do that right now. I'm gonna release this guy and try and get you guys set up so you can watch. See you in a minute. There we go, got you all set up. Back to the we go. It's a little striped bass. This a little guy. Hey, it's better than sitting in the house, baby. Let him go.
I apologize for the noise, but if you can see, we're underneath the, the highway's overpass, so there's really nothing I can do about it, but still fishing. Back in he goes. <laughs> hey y'all, you gotta see this. This is Smallest little striped bass that I have caught. Look, that's my hand. He's like a little bass. That's like a fish tank bass. I, I got a 55 gallon tank, but I ain't gonna put him in there. I'm gonna let him go. Another good little crappie. Small guy, but. Too small for me to keep. I don't like keeping the small ones. A lot of people do because there, there's no size limit, or there is no even limit on how many you can keep. But I like to support the ecosystem, so if they're too small, I let them go. Even though, like one of my buddies says, you can always make fi make fish nuggets. That is true. Two cast, two fish. Hooked in the same spot. Another white striper. Woo! There we go. What is going on, y'all? I was just stopping for lunch. My vi my camera is at 2%. I've caught a ton of fish. I've got 
uh, maybe 10 or 12 on the stringer, but I caught some fresh tuna and I'm gonna eat it for lunch. Check it out. Oh yeah. You guys see that? That's right. Fresh tuna for lunch, baby. I'll see you guys back at the house. I'll charge my phone. We'll clean these, uh, not the fresh tuna, I'm gonna eat those, but we'll clean these uh, crappie and then uh, I'm gonna show you uh, uh, just a little dish that I just now thought up in my head. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll see you here in a bit. Peace. What's up? We're back. I am uh, in a hurry because it is getting dark, but I got some fish. I'm going to show you one fillet. I'm going to clean it for you real quick. And uh, then we're going to get inside and do some cooking. Uh, my wife's cooking another part of the meal that's almost done, so I got to hurry. But I got my beautiful daughter out here. Hi. She's going to film for me. So. But here's what we got here. This is one of our crappies. So what you're going to do helps if you have a fillet knife. I don't, so I'm using a kitchen knife. But so you go under that fin, cut towards the scales, just like that. Cut up into the head, turn your knife, just follow that backbone just like this. You'll feel those ribs in there. Right when you quit feeling those ribs, push it on through on through the bottom just like that cut right down through the tail lift that meat up a little bit cut like that you'll feel some pin bones in there just cut right through the pin bones but don't cut through the ribs once once you get through the pin bones you can turn it around and it'll follow those ribs down just like that keep following those ribs just like that and voila Got it like that. Leave you just the little slightest bit of meat on the tip just so you got something to hold on to. And work it down just like this. Grab onto that fillet. You got a small set of pin bone in here. It's running right there. If you run your finger upward, you'll feel them. Dig in there like that. Dig in there like that. Cut those pin bones out. And voila. You have a nice fillet but I'm gonna go ahead clean the rest of these fish real quick so I can get inside and have this done in time for dinner so I will see you in the kitchen peace all right we are back so right here we have spicy nacho Doritos egg with a little whole milk you know beat up you know there we go okay so, I already got that done. Then, we got our fish. Uh, you want your fish to be dry. You don't want it to be uh, soaking wet. So, take the fish. Take your piece of fish. Stick it in here. Get it good and soaking. Stick it in there. I'm trying to do this one-handed, I'm sorry. So, get it good and covered. Just like this. Throw you some on there, pat it in there, get it in all the nooks and crannies. Okay, so set it just like that, and then we're gonna set it on a plate. Whoop, tearing the kitchen up. I'm always tearing the kitchen up. So then, after we get it in there, we're gonna take it, let it dry while the oil's heating up. So we're gonna do that over and over with all the fish, and then. We're gonna throw it in there, but I'll see you in a minute once I get it done. Peace. All right, so we have our spicy nacho covered fish as breading. And we're gonna take this, stick it in there like that. I don't got my oil crazy hot because the chips are, it's basically like a, a, a breading and it will brown and burn really fast. So, we got it on low heat. Don't overcrowd your pan. Let her go like that. For a little bit. Send these little fishies in here for their last swim. Alright, I'll uh, be back here in just a second. And I'll show you the finished product. Alright, y'all. So, this is... 
chicken, broccoli, cheese, and rice casserole. My beautiful wife made that. And then this is our spicy nacho Doritos covered crappie. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on this. Because I want to see. One piece. Oh, yeah. It's nice and flaky. Which crappy usually is. Or it is. Okay. One more. Oh, yeah. This guy looks good. But before I try it like that with it all together, which I know it's going to be good, we're just going to try it together. So, do you want you want to go first? Sure. All right, you go ahead. It's very good. Is it good? Yes, it is. All right, y'all. Let's see here. I'm excited to try it. All right, give me a little piece. I knew it would be good. Nice, crunchy. Just enough crunchy, too. Yeah. Yep. I didn't put any seasonings on it. I didn't put salt, pepper, no fish seasonings, nothing. It's just crappie fillets and spicy nacho Doritos. I give it a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up too. But we're going to smash this plate of fish smash this because I love this stuff but as of right now that's all we got for you until next time peace see you later